You ever notice how some people just seem to get more done in a couple hours than you do a whole day or even a whole week? I think I know why. I've been so distracted from my work lately and I'm tired of failing and trying to get back on track. So this time we're taking extreme measures. For the next seven days, I will be doing adult media talks. That means no social media, no TV, no video games, no pornography or masturbation, no junk food, no music, no drugs, no drinky drinky, no spendy spendy, basically nothing overly stimulating. But I also want to challenge myself further. So instead of watching Water Boil, every day I'm going to set a goal and I need to complete that goal by the end of every day. Because it's not only important for me to eliminate bad habits, I also want to take action towards the things that I've been telling myself I wanted to do and I keep putting off. Getting the last drops of dopamine. I need it. All right, so goal number one on day number one, I am going to read this book start to finish. Reading is one of those habits that I'm really trying to take more seriously. I love learning and I just don't carve out enough intentional time to actually sit down and read. I have a couple hours right now, so I figured might as well just see if I can crank this out, take some notes on it, and um, yeah, I actually finished it a lot faster than I thought I would. Um, there was one quote that I really liked. There will never be enough time to do everything that you have to do. Love that. We're getting close to the end of day one. Honestly, feels like a regular old day. It's kind of getting restless at home, so we decided to go out to a coffee shop. I'm starting to feel sad and hungry, really hungry. Caffeine upregulates dopamine receptors in the brain, so I switched to tea this morning. Hey, do you think I'm gonna be able to successfully do this detox? So before the week started, I made a post in our Discord server about doing this dopamine detox and I asked if anyone wanted to join. So many people wanted to hop in and join on this detox. It really speaks that a lot of us struggle with this same idea of motivation, procrastination, and it's really cool to know that I'm not doing this on my own. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. Hey, hey. Yo. hey so I'm filming this detox video right now, as you know. Um, I don't want to get distracted by my phone because I use it too often that I find it, I'm just going to use it. So can you take it from me and hide it somewhere so I can't find it because I want to use it? Okay, sure. All right, so we're going to be hiding Maddie's phone. I'm going to put it in this toy box. Oh, <laughs> that's the way. So I think I'm going to go back home and write a song today and then go to the gym. Pretty sick, pretty sloppy though, and uh, honestly, good enough. <laughs> Tonight, we feast. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so good. One of the first things I wanted to make sure I did during the dopamine detox, and I've always liked cooking, even though I didn't make this. Uh, I've always liked cooking, <laughs> and I think we're gonna try to get back into it, you know? What is your next cooking project? Uh, as like lame as it sounds, I want to make a really good salad. Bruh. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make good pasta. That's something that I've always struggled to make well, because I just can't make it al dente. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty bored today. I just spent like the last hour and a half trying to work. I knew eventually I'd start feeling unmotivated, like it's hard to just grind all day every day. I think what's tough is like I know I have all of these stimulating things around me and I don't really like the fact that I want it so bad. Like hey just go watch some YouTube videos because at least you'll be learning, you'll be productive. And really it's just me procrastinating because working is a so. And I think I understand the point of dopamine detox now. It's not just to eliminate things from your life, it's to just get better at being bored and being okay with being bored and not craving things to easily distract you with. 
So I first heard about dopamine from YouTube a couple of years ago. And at first I was a bit skeptical because there's a lot of scattered information across the internet. And what's worse than misinformation is accurate information that's taken out of context. So for today's goal, I wanna talk about how I understand dopamine from studying medicine and from studying neuroscience. People think of dopamine as this magical pleasure molecule for enjoying life. Like, ooh, I need a dopamine hit, dopamine hit. But it doesn't really work like that. So dopamine, like any molecule, doesn't do any anything on its own. It needs to interact with a receptor. It's like a docking hub uh, in order to function. And depending on the type of receptor and where that receptor is in the body, dopamine will do different things. Like in one area of the brain, the nigrostriatal dopamine pathway, kind of a long name there, but it helps us physically move our body. And clinically speaking, when we see problems in that pathway, there are things like movement disorders, things like Parkinson's disease. Uh, when there's too little dopamine or when there's too much dopamine, we get things like uh, akathisia or what we call extrapyramidal symptoms. But in another area of the brain, the dopamine reward pathway, it's all about motivation and wanting. And this is where the lines get a little bit blurry because wanting something and enjoying something aren't the same thing, right? Like you can really want something, but you don't really enjoy it. And you can really enjoy something, but not really like to do it. So when I'm playing video games, my brain releases dopamine as a way to remember that pleasurable experience. My brain learned that games equal pleasure. And so it wants more of it. Even though a little bit of dopamine is released when I'm reading, our brain is wired to crave the most convenient and pleasurable activity possible. And so I'll be more motivated to play video games than I will to read. But here's where it gets interesting. The more I game, the less enjoyment I get from it. And this is called tolerance. When we constantly stimulate our dopamine reward pathway, it causes the threshold to enjoy stuff to go way up. So it's a lot harder to enjoy something, even if we're doing it. But our brain doesn't understand what tolerance is. It just keeps craving pleasure. So it keeps releasing dopamine, even if we aren't enjoying it as much. The things we enjoy in life are not necessarily the things we want. It's why we doom scroll TikTok. It's why we binge watch anime or trash TV. And it's why we feel so unmotivated to work or do the things that we love when we're constantly stimulating ourselves, And I've experienced this firsthand, and I'm sure you have too, that the things that we enjoy doing that used to give us pleasure don't anymore because dopamine isn't doing what it used to. And so for the people who endorse 24 hour or 48 hour dopamine detoxes, I don't really know if you'll see a lot of long lasting benefit from that. And that's why I chose to do seven days because that might give my receptors enough time to reset and return back to a lower threshold. Just finished filming a whole bunch of shorts uh, for YouTube. My back really, really hurts though since I've been sitting on the floor for like the past hour and a half. This is where we film all our shorts. Got our microphone up there, Godox lights. Yes, I am sitting on the floor, like I said, and the background. I don't feel that bored yet, not using social media and stuff, although that's like the most common symptom. If anything, I feel more energized, more focused, and just more excited to get back on the train of doing hobbies and doing cool stuff. I just filmed eight shorts, all back to back, batch work, productivity, God. Just kidding. Is this cheating? Does this count as dopamine? Does this count as dopamine? I have a confession. I broke the dopamine detox. So earlier today, I was filming some YouTube videos and I needed to get some B-roll for this upcoming video. So I went over to our toy box, which looks like a makeshift ottoman. And I found that thing you see sitting right there. It was hiding in here. I hadn't even seen my phone all day since Mike hit it earlier. It's the craziest thing about how distractible my Kitsune brain is. Like I had no intention of using my phone, but I picked it up um, and you know how iPhones do that thing where if you hold it, sometimes the screen just automatically turns on. And out of like the corner of my eye, I caught a glimpse that I had a notification, which was like immediately a dopamine rush signal to my brain. Like, oh, you know, she just check it. And before I knew it, I was literally scrolling on Instagram reels. I had no idea how how long I was doing it for. Probably just like a couple seconds, if anything. But it was just like so instinctual. You know, knowing how dopamine works is just scary that I had that little control over my focus, like mind blowing. Uh, anyway, sorry, I'm a fraud. Hey, this is dinner. I've made it. I did the pasta like I said I was going to. And it's a 10 out of 10. Honestly? 10 out of 10. This might be the greatest thing I've ever made in my entire life. Uh, salmon, basil, fettuccine, spinach, so it's about 4, 
4.45 and I'm feeling a bit tired today. So I think the thing that I'm gonna do today is gonna be light. I'm going to just clean. It's a little messy right now, getting to the point of like first year college vibes. Usually when I'm cleaning or doing chores, I listen to podcasts or audiobooks or something. I have this like toxic productivity trait that I always want to be doing something productive, even though I know I to, you know, take a break and self-care and all that stuff. So this week's been a pretty big change so far. At first I was really bored, like going to the bathroom without your phone or anything, cooking and eating in silence, but I kind of like it now. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of chill, you know, relaxing and peaceful just to enjoy doing the thing that you're doing uh, without distractions, you know? I think I'm on the verge of breaking you. I feel so, tired today. I thought that this would be getting easier uh, the further we got into it, but I feel like I just hit a brick wall. I'm so tired. It's time to get up. Yes, sir. Detox week. Let's go. So here's a weird thought. This week kind of feels like I'm traveling. Like before I started med school, I went backpacking through Europe. And for the majority of that trip, I had no Wi-Fi, so no access to social media. And I was also staying in hostels with strangers. So no TV or video games either. And I didn't have access to my brother's pantry. And even though I didn't have access to those nice things, it was still really fun. And I think my favorite thing about traveling was the fact that I would just go outside and roam around. So that's today's goal. And although it's like way less exciting to go on an adventure where you live, we're gonna go find a hike that we haven't done before for and try to reconnect with good old OC. I think the weather today perfectly describes a dopamine detox. I don't go outside as often as I as I want to and whenever I do I just feel so much more connected. Definitely going to try to incorporate going outside a lot more into my routine. <sighs> This is it, day seven, we made it to the end. I'm in a good mood right now, and I feel like I have a lot of interesting things to reflect on. Overall, I'm more relaxed and present. Like, I didn't have any moments this week where I looked at the clock and was like, oh shit, where did four hours go? Which has happened when I played Dota or something. But yeah, it wasn't as difficult or even as boring as I thought it would be to cut out all of those easy dopamine rewards. Uh, and the upsides are great. I went to the gym every single day this week because I had nothing else to do, honestly. Sleep hygiene's been way better because I don't take my phone to bed. But that being said, I don't think my life has drastically changed, but there are definitely signals that change is in motion. Like if anything, cutting out all of those things just made more time for me to actually do the things that I wanted to do. It's not rocket science. Like it obviously makes so much sense. I just don't know why I haven't been able to do it before or the motivation just wasn't there. Um, and thankful that I was able to do an experiment like this and make a video where I force myself into that situation. It's incredible what happens. And I wouldn't even say this is because of the dopamine detox itself but that I actually just made a plan to do those things. I carried out and did them. And the fact that I haven't done those things before just means that these instant gratifications like scrolling social media or playing video games, all that stuff, those are the common denominator. Those are the things that are actually pulling me away from doing these things that I've been telling myself that I wanted to do. Doing this challenge was like a factory reset for my mind. And now I have this cool opportunity to rebuild it in a better way. Because if I just reinstall everything and start scrolling tomorrow morning, then what was the point? You know, I didn't grow. I didn't learn anything. And that was the whole reason I did this in the first place. So anyway, I encourage you all to try a dopamine detox. I have a feeling that some of the lessons I've learned from this will materialize in the coming days and weeks and stuff. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you next time. Peace.